Hello, boys and girls. Man, it's late at night for me. I have to be up in five hours. But I wanted to get a little bit of recording in first. Because I think... I think my brain has finally decided to stop trying so hard on this how to take the caliphate thing. And instead of trying hard, I went through the claims on the caliphate and I found a dude with a claim on the caliphate and I think I know how to do this. So first off, let's go through a small history lesson here. You remember Sultan Malik I of Abyssinia? Sure you do. His father was Sultan Berta of Abyssinia and his father was Sultan Tesema of Abyssinia. You know, etc, etc, etc. So, you know, and uh, Sultan Asfiha, you know, we can go back as far as we want, man. Duke Nagus, the guy that started it all. Anyway, so, we're coming back specifically to Mr. Malik here, because he had a son. His son named Sheikh Abdullah. And Sheikh Abdullah had a daughter. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. I had a son. <laughs> Forget what I said. He had a son, Sheikh Asefa. And Sheikh Asefa had a daughter. Sheikh Asefa's daughter, Saba bint Asefa, was married off to the Shia Caliphate. And her marriage was a matrilineal marriage. Anytime you get a matrilineal marriage, interesting stuff can happen. So who did she marry? She married this guy named Bashur, Bashir ibn Musa, whose father is Caliph Musa, or was Caliph Musa. He's the old Caliph. So he has a claim on the Shia Caliphate, and it says it will not be inherited unless pressed in war. But since he married Sabha with a matrilineal marriage, his kids are both of our dynasty. All right, now I, I bet you can see where I'm going here. He has a claim on the, Sh on the Shia Caliphate, and since he's married to our kinswoman, we can press his claim. So if we go to uh, the Caliph here, we can check the wars. We can press this guy's claim by Shur ibn Musa. That's what we're going to be doing. Now the reason we're going to be doing that is because his kids are our dynasty, and if we do this right, we can set them as our heirs. Well, we're going to pick one or the other and set them as our heir. So why don't we go ahead and do that, and then we'll discuss the ramifications. So his first son, 10, 10, 8, 19, 10. Decent. Decent. And he has, let's see, elusive shadow, temperate, patient, honest, slothful, and envious. I don't like slothful and envious. And his stats are just very mediocre. Now his brother, Alim, has better diplomacy, better intrigue, and slightly less learning. But he has kind, diligent, temperate, ambitious, deceitful. He has four very good uh, bonus traits here. So we're going to be going with Mr. Alim. He's only 16. He's not married. So first things first, let's see if we can uh, get him into our court. He says no. How about, okay, well, first thing. Man, I keep saying first thing. But anyway, we cannot set him as our heir. If we go to the list of heirs, he is not here. His name is Alim, and it's not here. So, off camera, I went through a bunch of different possibilities on how we can get him into our uh, nomination screen for for the two kingdoms, the two uh, sultanates. And the way that was the easiest was simply to give him an emirate. So we either give him the emirate of Aksum or the emirate of Sana'a. It does not matter which. And then he will be eligible to be voted for. I tried just giving individual provinces or even the uh, smaller areas within the province. And that was not enough to get him to appear on the nomination screen. So we're going to do what worked. Oops. Yeah, Alim. We're going to give him the... Uh, Emirate of Sanaa. There you go. No. Yeah, Sheikta. Oh, we have to give him a province before we can give the Emirate. Alright. That's fine. You can have... Uh, we'll give him Kathiri instead. Because it's, it's like the crappiest place over here. Uh, get 
title. Cut theory, bingo. And the lower titles, that's fine. And now we can give him the Emirate of Sanaa. That's I like how it glows the region you're gonna do. I wish it would like glow the entire provinces, not just the outline, but whatever. Uh, we're not gonna include the lower titles for now, because he'll inherit the lower titles eventually, so who cares? Alright, so we lost a council position. We lost our steward. Whatever. You. Alright, then go research economy tech. Alright, so now Aleem should be available in our list. There he is. Aleem Emir of Sanaa. You are now my heir. Do that in both kingdoms. Alright, now that we've set Aleem as our heir... Yeah, yeah. Now that we've set Aleem as our heir, we uh, just sit back and wait a little bit. Let me speed up time. Oh, I still have to give you away, don't I? Mengochek is our direct vassal for some reason, so we need to give him to our son. Mengochek. There you go. And that's it. So let's unpause and let shit happen. Alright. Peasants revolted. Whatever. Alright, so it says you have a new heir. If your character dies, you'll now play as Emir Alim of Sana. So because he's of our dynasty, it is safe to do this. If we had picked some other random dipshit like this Tekla guy, you know, he's Ethiopian. I'm sure he'd be a good sultan. He's got some nice stats, a lot of... He is homo, though. Whatever. But he, I'm sure he'd be a good sultan. But that's not the point. He's not of our dynasty. He does not have that little uh, blood drop. So picking him would just be disastrous for us. So getting Aleem, even though he's a very distant relative, it will do. He will do just fine as our heir. We will be able to play as him. It won't end the game. Yada, yada, yada. And now, since he is our heir, and everyone recognizes him as our heir, he likes us and all that sort of thing, now, if we press his father's claim, his father will become the caliph, and then when his father dies, Aleem will become the caliph. Because the way the caliphate is ruled, it's agnatic open. This means the most powerful son of the ruler succeeds. And in his case, in Bashir's case, the most powerful son will be Aleem because he's an emir, he's a, a duke. Whereas his brother is a guy with no claims on nothing. So no one cares about his brother, and he looks like an idiot anyway. He's actually pretty smart, but he looks like an idiot. All right, so now that we have Aleem in our court, we're gonna take advantage of his 23 intrigue. Hell yeah, we're gonna make him our fucking spy master. And, uh, da da I really should study tech, but we're going to uncover plots, because I'm sure there's going to be some people upset with us picking picking this guy as our heir, considering how far removed from uh, our current level in the family he is. He's just really, really far away. Yeah, yeah, everyone's favoring Aleem now. Favors himself. Good. Aleem is favored. Good. Even Caliph Musa is favoring Aleem. Cool. So that's my strategy here. That's what we're going to try to do to get the Caliphate. Can I just hurry up with the freaking claim over here, please? I swear I've had this guy here for fucking ever. I'm trying to get something. It's come to my attention that Grand Vizier Beta Meruna's. Whoever. Our son, Hakim, is trying to usurp one of our claims somewhere. He doesn't like us anymore, because we disown... We didn't disown him, but you get what I mean. Here, have some dollars, Mr. Son. It'll make you happy. Yeah, what are our chances over here of getting shit? 19.3%. Well, 
Just keep trying, will you? I would love to take over this emirate. Hey, we have a son. This Mongolian chick. Oh man, look, the kid doesn't even look Ethiopian. It says he's Ethiopian. Alright. Whatever. So that's something to keep in mind. If we become the Caliph, then it looks like we won't be able to change any of the laws. My grandson is a charitable rascal. Oh, he gains charitable. Good. Good for him. Abaya is turning out really good. Oh, who the fuck are you fighting? Nobody. Uh-oh. Crusade for Jerusalem. Alright. This is the kind of thing I was waiting for. This is nice. So we are going to let the Caliph do everything he can to save the Holy Lands. And uh, we're not going to help him. And while he's up here losing troops to... Well, let's see who comes. Oh, God. Will you stop plotting? You want 20 bucks? There you go. Now we stop... Of course. He just wants a little pat on the head. Some $20. Stop plotting. Stop plotting. This is just ridiculous how many plots you have to pay attention to. I wish there'd be an auto end plot. Maybe what would be nice is if there was just auto end plot as, a, as an option. And then if it was ever no, it would just give a pop-up. Like, do you want to toss them $20 to end the plot? And then you just say yes. That would be nice. Because most of the time, you wouldn't even get the pop-up because they would just say yes anyway. Alright, go ahead. Lose a bunch of troops, Mr. Caliph. Lose them. And then, yeah, so we're not going to help. That's that. Come on, get me a claim. <laughs> you know what, while we're waiting, oh, ooh. so you know the woman behind my spouse's back is becoming quite troublesome for me. The lies tear at my soul, and my longing to be with my lover is almost too much. It's time to end affairs and settle down. We get chased. Work out if I get more effort. We could get stressed. Hmm. I don't care for my spouse. Let's try this one. I don't know what happened. It didn't tell us. Maybe nothing happened. Sultan, the more I study the Batashki... Oh, he's a fucking heretic now. He's my chief Kadi. Alright. So what do I do when my chief Kadi becomes heretic? A. Arrest him. B. Release from prison. Because he gets he gains a 30 respect for you for releasing him from prison. And then demand religious conversion? Yes. And then make him my chief Kadi again. Oh, I have to wait for him to convert. Come on, convert. There you go. Now make him Chief Kadi again. And now he's at 87 respect for us. Isn't that amazing? He went from negative to, eight, to plus 87 all in one thing. Having people go heretic on you is like the best thing ever because it instantly improves their relations with you just by going through those few steps, releasing from prison, demanding conversion, and then rehiring them to whatever position they had. All right, go back to... Uh, actually, are there any heretics anywhere? No. Everyone is Shiite. Cool. Alright, go back to whatever you were doing. Research tech. Alright, here comes some crusader. Who joined the crusade anyway? Oh my goodness. Ridiculous. Bergen shoes. Let's see. Jomsland. The Holy Roman Empire joined. The Knights Templar. Uh, Denmark. Luxembourg, Swabia, Man. Teutonic Order joined, Vossland, Knights Hospitaller joined, lots of people joined. My wife has retired to the convent for a short while to gather her thoughts. Let's see. 
see. We could gain lustful. I think we already have that. We could gain deceitful. I think we already have that too. Lustful. No, we don't have deceitful. We have just. Oh, whatever. Let's see, craven. I don't want craven. Uh, sure, let's. No, I don't want to get him. Let's try to loot. No. Eh. Whatever. I'm so indecisive on shit like that. Man, look at this. The Caliph's actually doing a good job of fighting off the Crusade here. Well, props to him. Medium barracks. Good, 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 good. Keep building. Don't ever stop building. Yeah, he's doing a great job fighting these guys. Oh, 14,000. That might be too much to bite. Yeah, maybe? Yeah, you're going to lose that one. Another 14,000. Yeah, you lost that one. Another 14,000. Oh, my goodness. Another... F oh, my goodness. There's a lot of fucking crusaders. Another 16,000. Uh, I was the first one to saddle my horse and chase after the bandits. Gain piety. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I didn't even read the whole thing. I'm sure you can pause it in the in the video <laughs> and read it if you want. After a while, all the pop-ups just become a blur, you know? There really are a ton of little nitpicky things that you can do. Like, uh... Does this guy have any... Let's see... Baby look of Basra. Are there any claimants? There's only two. Merv, she wouldn't want to come to our court. He's already married, so it don't matter. Can be inherited by successor. Alright. Are you the heir? Heir? No, you're not. You're the heir. Hmm. Let's see. Can I get a betrothal? Goodness. No, you don't want to betroth anyone. That's fine. That's fine. I understand. I understand. Just checking. What about the other guy, this guy? Yeah, claim on the Babelika Basra. What about you? I'm just looking to see if we can get any... No. Get any goods out of this. No. No, you don't want anything? Alright, well, just check, check every now and then, see if you can find somebody. That's all you do if you want to see if you can find someone with a claim on the title. You click on the thing like that, and then you go to the button claimants, and it'll show you everyone who has a claim on it. Ah, we'll accept an invitation to court. Claim on the Republic of Oman. Claim on the Emirate of Daman. Yeah, but all you have are women for kids. You're 65, too. Oh, you've got a boy. Eh, it's probably too much effort. But yeah, the, the, the thumbs up means he will join your court. So you can, like, press a claim that way. Anyway, we'll look around later. For now, let's just continue. Oh, 25,000 guys. Ooh, the Sultan, uh, the Caliph has a ton of guys over here. Why are they going to hail? They're just going to take more attrition. Who doesn't like us? Emmer and a Fode. Why not? Random bullshit. You want some dollars? You want to be Seneschal? There you go. It's like, who wants belly rubs? 
Wally of Oman. 300 bucks? Sure, you can have 300 bucks. There you go. Just keep people happy. Man. Holy Wars can be so ridiculous. Uh, what's this? Abai is impulsive. Seems unable to tell right from... Oh, arbitrary. No, 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 no arbitrary. Get rid of that. Fucking arbitrary, man. It's not even that bad of a trait. I just don't like it. You know what, we'll pause here and we'll come back when we're ready to make our move. Alright, I'd say we're pretty good to go. Let's get this shit rolling. Yo, dude. You ready for this? Cutting the shit caliphate for Bashir. Look at all that glowing blue outline of gorgeousness. Let's go. Alright, let's see. When title can be usurped. The Emirate of Jerusalem. Well, fuck yeah, we only have one Emirate now. Gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gain prestige for a little gold? Sure. We are now the Duke of Jerusalem. Excellent. Alright, in the meantime. In the meantime, let's raise our dudes. Yeah. Uh, what's the best way to do this? Well, let's raise our personal ones first. You guys can all meet up here. And then let's raise... I kind of want to leave the ones up here alone, because we're hostile towards all of them. So we'll just ignore those. Let's raise everything in Oman. There you go. Raise them all. You can come over here. Actually, why don't you all go this way? And stop over there. Let's raise everything in Sanaa. There we go. Food. No, we'll leave them alone. How many is it? No, we'll take that. It's a couple thousand, right? Why is it not raising? I don't know. Oman, Harare, definitely. Gondar, definitely. Let's get you guys up here. And you guys can meet up over here. The only one I'm not going to do is Outer Jordan. This one I'll do. How many is it? Yeah. Alright, so I think we're ready to go. We'll need them. Don't you worry. We'll need troops. Alright, let's unpause. Get everyone moving.
can call people into this war, but uh, I don't see any point. I have, like, no luck getting people to actually join my damn wars. Well, occasionally, but for the most part, no luck. Alright, let's send... You guys come here. Let's send half of you. Yeah. Up to here. And we'll join you with these guys. Oh yeah, we have a lot more coming this way. Alright, let's take you guys over here. So now we're no longer with involved in these wars. They're still hostile to us, but we're not actually involved. So this is just Abyssinian War for Caliph Bashir's claim on the Shia Caliphate. Alright. And our war score here is dependent on control of the Caliphate. So we'd actually have to start invading pretty soon. So let's do that. Actually, let's get a little bit out. Sure.